All right, let's see. Let's see. You ready? Let's see. Nothing to see. Nothing to see. Nothing to see. Um, just finished a half marathon. Just wanted to see where I was, so I did a officially unofficial marathon, which means uh, I basically um, did an official marathon with the clock running, but obviously it wasn't a race. Look at me, holy cow. Um, today's 399 days of running. Um, I can tell you for a fact when I was around 100 days in, actually, no, when I was around 60 days in, um, I was still unsure if I was going to be able to achieve my goal of one year of running. And once I got past that 90 day threshold, I clearly was able to feel before I even knew um, that I was going to be able to achieve that. Let's get some good sunlight. So um, now I'm at this part. I'm, at, I'm in this. I'm in. I'm at this area in my training, in my running, where I've been pushing a lot of distance. And even though I've been pushing distance, last Saturday, a week from today, I just ran my first 50-mile race. And uh, although. I've been able to accumulate a lot of distance. Uh, the speed isn't really there. Um, the speed is not really there. So that's just something that I'm going to work on. And uh, today I just wanted to really take the opportunity right now while I'm not doing any plan, while I haven't really committed to any exercise routine strictly yet, um, although I'm exercising just kind of freely um, doing things that I enjoy. Uh, I just wanted to take today's opportunity while I'm not buckled down to any type of assignment to just see what I had. Um, I noticed that my right hamstring, thanks guys. Thank you, people. They don't care, they just wanna go to brunch. They wanna go to brunch, they wanna get faded because they've been working nine to five all week, probably nine to seven all week, you know. They don't like the life they live. No, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Um, so yeah, so I just wanted to take this opportunity to kind of um, just see where I was um, like I was saying, my right hamstring is still a little tight. So it was funny, by the time I hit mile nine, because I was trying to go, I was trying to beat my record. My record is about around an 8.45 uh, pace for a half marathon. And I wanted to try and beat that. And when I got a little over nine miles in, I could see, that, dude, my face looks crazy. Pause, super pause. Um, I could see that uh, basically, sorry, I lost my train of thought. I can feel and see that I wasn't gonna be able to keep that and maintain that pace. So I thought I was honestly just about to just chuck this whole um, time, chuck my whole time down the drain just because I was like, uh. but I was like, you know what? Let me just walk for a second or just slowly jog. And then I was able to pick the pace up and I did that for the remainder of the miles. So um, now it was a great run today. The last mile, of course, the last mile is the fastest. I had the fastest split, I think, although, um, I was having those hamstring issues again from that right hamstring. So uh, I realized again that I need to do a little bit more strength training for sure on my body, with my body, if I want to be, if I want to be able to accumulate um, the speed, um, the endurance when I hit that eight, nine, 10, especially when I hit 18, 20, 22 miles in. Uh, with that being said, all in all, I'm very satisfied where I'm at right now. It's been a beautiful week. I've been learning a lot, not just physically, but mentally, spiritually, emotionally. And um, life is going just as it's supposed to be. So just wanted to update you guys with where I'm at, what I'm doing, um, how I'm feeling. As far as today goes, I'm probably going to take uh, the day off of the gym today just because I've hit all body parts today. Or today, I've hit all body parts this week. Actually, I haven't hit shoulders. So if I don't hit shoulders today, I'll definitely hit shoulders tomorrow. Um, but uh, just wanna give my body a little time to recoup. I wanna wrap my head around what I truly wanna do because I've told you guys that we wanna do a mixture of calisthenics, um, definitely running. I'm gonna be focusing on my speed because we still wanna, we're still chasing, not chasing, we're still, um, bringing in that sub three hour marathon. So that is gonna be a, um, that's gonna be a journey. 
Okay, so I better start soon. So we're gonna be starting that, if not next week, probably the week after. Um, so yeah, calisthenics, we're gonna get back into the weight training. I don't wanna say I'm gonna be powerlifting. I don't wanna say I'm gonna be bodybuilding, but I'm definitely gonna be messing around with some weights. Uh, of course, before that, my priority is gonna be calisthenics because we wanna do some sick, cool moves. Um, like I said, running, we're gonna be also including hiking into this whole regime just because I find it uh, very therapeutic when you're getting up into those uh, hilltops, okay? They're not mountain, they're hills. And last but not least, I think also too, we want to add in some biking. Just because I used to bike all the time when I was a youngin, not even for sport, just for fun, just for transportation. And I think that's something that I do want to include back into my athletic regiment. So, um, that's pretty much it guys. I appreciate all the love again, man. Yesterday's live was so lit. I said that on the Facebook post and it really was, man. I just felt a really, really, uh, a great camaraderie. Uh, I don't even know if that's the right word to use. Just a great, uh, discussion. You know, first we were just talking about health and then we started talking about spirituality and just mental health and awareness. And everybody I felt like that was in the live was engaging, which was just, it was something that I haven't experienced on this page before. So I feel very appreciative and thankful for that. So um, thank you guys for that yesterday. And uh, let me just think, is there anything else that I wanna mention last but not least? Take your time. Take your time on your development. You'll find that, because in the discussion yesterday that we had in the live, we started talking about, we started talking about how some, you know, some people in the world don't feel like they fit in. They don't feel like they're able to interact clearly, or they feel like when they interact, it's super sporadic, or they, right, they feel something along those lines. And um, I just want to encourage anybody watching this video, especially if you feel some of these similar feelings that really, really trust the process, okay? And really, really give yourself time. And you have to believe in yourself, okay? The fact that you've gotten up this many times already and you've lived this long in life shows you already that you show up every day. You may not be showing up 100%. You may not be showing up the way you want to show up, but you're still showing up right you're not hiding under the covers you're not asking questions you're not not asking questions you're not not looking for answers right so give yourself some credit but at the end of the day really really take your time and i want you to think of it as you know what there's nothing else more important than me getting to know and connecting with myself nothing more important than that so some of the things I was laying down in bed last night and I was thinking about the conversation that we had on live yesterday. And I remember it for some reason, I remembered what I used to say to myself about a year ago. Like, I don't care if it takes me this whole life to get to know me and my soul. So by the time I hit next life, I'll be good to go. I don't mind to sacrifice the rest of this life to quiet my mind, to really, you know, all of the ambitions and all of the things that I wanted to experience. If I'm having trouble getting there, you know what? Let me push all that to the side. Let me get to know me. Let me figure out how to operate my systems. And I feel like that is so worth it. And that right there, just being able to be comfortable on your skin, being able to be free to express however you want to express, no matter who's around you, that is the most priceless thing that earth, that this realm, that Kai, not earth, has to offer. And I will be willing to put my whole life in connection, in discovering the clarity, not in search, but in discovering the clarity of who I truly am. I don't mind risking my whole life, not risking, but committing my whole life to it. I don't mind going, you know what? Let me just, let me spend the rest of my life, 60, 70, 80 years, let me spend the rest of my life just to figure out who I am. So by the time my soul, <laughs> say hi to the vlog. Oh, come on, a little louder than that. There we go. <laughs> um, so I don't mind spending the rest of my life really trying to connect to myself and my soul. So by the time I get to my next life, by the time my soul gets to the next life, guess what? We're ready to roll from straight out the womb. So don't be afraid to really uh, sacrifice all of your, um, don't be afraid to sacrifice everything that you desire to experience in life to experience you loving yourself entirely. Love and light to all and to all love and light. See you later.